Setting or changing text colour <coughs> on the iPad in Affinity Photo. Well, let's start with a new document, and we, we just need a document of any size and any shape, really. And I'll give it a transparent background. And there we go. Now, I'm going to set up the Artistic Text Tool for a start. We'll put that there. Now, you can see down there... <coughs> I've got Arial, let's change the font for a start, back issues, there we go, nice big font, 50.3 points, now up the top right hand corner, the colour is already set to black, which is a kind of a default, you can use sliders or a colour wheel, let's use the colour wheel and make it a nice blue colour font like blue uh, we could go a little bit paler there we go no there make up your mind and that's the color we want nice blue hit the return key change the color C O L O U R. Let's move that back to where we can see it. Now, then, with that selected, maybe I want to change the word color to a different color. So you highlight the text, go to the color icon, and there we go. It's now mm, a turquoise or teal type colour. And that's all there is to it. Select the colour bar again. Let's take out one of those. Let's take out, for the like of it, both of the um, carriage returns I put in there. And put a full stop. Nice blue colour. And that's all there is to changing or setting the colour. Remember, if you're going to type your text we want frame text let's put some frame text there there's our frame text there's our color bars or our, our font bar down the bottom here Chain one's tapped in there but there's no color setting in there your color setting is there if I just type a B C then I end up with black text. Oh, black text. Oh, oh. Okay, let's go change it to that colour. Or even that colour. Very hard to see. Let's leave it at that colour. Pink. We want to set it bold. We want to increase the font size. While it's selected, do you see? Now it's unselected. But the colour stays the same. We can now set the colour to a different colour. And continue. That's setting the colour on the iPad. The desktop version of um, Affinity Photo, Designer and Publisher are all the same. When you're typing your text, set your colour to start with or set it afterwards. Continuing right along in the des desktop version of Affinity Photo, um, you can see that I've got some text already selected there. I can highlight that text and change the colour. Right there, top of the bar, let's make it red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and back there to blue, back there to pink, nice pink colour. Just click in there. Now, if I want to put some more text in there, I can change the colour there to blue, M-O-R-E, oops, M-O-R-E, more text. It's as easy as that.
Let's reduce that right down. Push that up to there. Highlight all the text. Set it to six point. Now that might not seem like a lot, but for our purposes is here. Let's do an let's do an artistic text. That one was in frame. Nice big. Now when you're starting out, you'll notice that's black up the top there. Black. Let's turn that to pink so it stands out. Or green so it stands out. Make it bold. You do all that first. Now type. And that's all there is to it. Set your colors first or change them afterwards. Too easy. Let's put that up there so it's all clear. 